This gun. Oh, we got a bunch of them. Look at these guys. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Requesting pursuit back up. Driver, get out. Put your hands up. He's having a seizure. He's having a seizure. <laughs> He's going. Shots fired. Shots fired. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mercy. ID, if you don't mind, please. Got some people out here saying yeah, you're actually suspicious. And maybe just because of the way you're, you're dressed or something like that. Go ahead. Breath. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining me on today's patrol. We're going to be out here in the Blank County Sheriff's Department and going to be near Sandy Shores. I got a new vehicle pack here by Tactical Donut. Uh, there's about seven vehicles or so. There's a couple more that's not here. But we're going to go ahead and probably roll out in a really nice Dodge Charger back over here. And we'll notify dispatch that we are indeed 1041 going on duty and then 10 8. 3 John, we're going to be 1041, 10 8. Roger, 3 John, 21. All right, let's go ahead and set our radio to on. All right, let's get started, yes. Oh, one more thing we got to do real fast. Let me grab myself a vest from the back. There we go. Never, you never know. You know how it is in Los Santos. You just never know. Make sure the lights are on good. Okay, we're all set. All right. Okay, let's kind of swing around here, and then we're gonna see what we can kind of get into. I really do appreciate all the comments in the uh, channel lately. Especially all the people that are kind of giving some tips and ideas. I look at every one of your comments. As you guys know, I try to respond back to you guys as much as I can. But it's kind of getting a little bit hard. You know, and that's kind of a good thing, I guess. You know, because that means there's a lot of people, you know, replying to the comments. Or, you know what I mean, videos. <laughs> Thought we'd patrol out here in Sandy Shores, uh, just kind of see what things are going on. Oh, we wait a second. We have a report of property damage and grape seed. Respond code three. Uh, three John, we're going to be ten seven. Okay. Ten four. I think we have a possible GTA out here, guys. Yeah, I'll head up that way. I'm in the area. Okay, you see that truck over there? Hey, let's back up here just for a second. Hey, let's back, head back over here because. Officers report of possible 148. Oh, that guy's so lucky. Joshua Road. We gotta take this. Three John responding, code three. 10 4, 3 John 21. Right, let's go. Okay, we do have a pursuit in progress. And uh, it's going to be back over this direction here. We have at least one police unit on him right now. Right, let's head back this direction here. Get down right there, man. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, I got so lucky, man. I was just... I wish I had my spike strip mod installed. I do have spike strips mod installed, but not the ones where I can lay down personally, so that kind of sucks. Uh, 3 John, we're in pursuit of a motorcycle going westbound East Joshua Road. It speeds approximately 95 miles per hour. Alright, so this is a pursuit in progress. Ooh, did he eat it? Nope. Trying to get an air unit. Requesting an air unit. 10 4, copy that. 3 John 21. Okay, let's do this. Um, let's do it. noose air support. I just want to see what that is. I think. Helicopter assistance needed on Joshua Road. They may actually try to shoot him. I don't know, but probably not. I think this is more of a SWAT helicopter where they're designed to more like repel down the road. 
Okay, we're going to take over primary. Three John to item five. We're going to take over primary. Okay, here we go. We have to be really careful with this guy. Oh, oh my gosh. Three John, we got a 1050. Yeah, he's limping away. <laughs> stop, man. Stop. Stop right there, man. You're not going to get very far, man. Your ankle's broke. And I can see your finger bone. <laughs> Stay right there. Three John, we got suspect at gunpoint. Roger. Three John, 21. You're under arrest, scumbag. What's going on with you, man? Wait, 1050 right in the back of that vehicle. Whoa. Alright, man. Yeah, I'll tell you what, let's just grab him. Let's go turn our siren off. Uh, he's gonna go buy EMS, guys. Um, he hit that vehicle pretty hard. Let's cut our siren off. There we go. And I'm gonna search him real fast, too. Get out of the, uh, the way here. Real fast. And uh, I don't know if I have any flares on me. Have any flares on me? Nah, I tell you what, let's see here, let's do this. I need to make sure these things are equipped next time. I like to have flares, just in case. Uh, he may freak out when I do this. Man. Oh, man. Can you go around, man? Citizens reporting an 11351. Units respond code 3. Damn. Try to get people away from this area. All right, so let's let's go ahead and search this guy. Turn the radio off just for a second here. What the hell? Okay, let's go ahead and uh, get him. He's already detained. I just want to pat him down. See what's going on with this guy. He does look like he might be a little bit inebriated. Or a DUI. Excuse me. Wow. All right, this is Douglas Rivera. Requesting pet check. 10 four, copy that. Three, John, 21. Okay, it's gonna be 6195 for Douglas Rivera. Yeah, he's got a warrant for his arrest. That's the reason why he's acting this way. And uh, we didn't really find much on him as far as that goes, but... Uh, let's, you know what, let's get a... Uh, I don't wanna have him go by transport. I'm gonna have him go by ambulance. Oh, we got an ambulance coming. Let's pick up this vehicle. I'm sorry. Had to have some fun. You know what I'm saying? Okay, we got MedStar coming in. And let's go ahead and search this vehicle as well. Because uh, it could have, you know, anything on there. Uh, let's see here. Do it this way. Let's see what he's got on there. Just several cell phones. Interesting. Requesting tow truck. Let's do a small pickup truck. Pickup truck. Backup needed. And Grande Sonora Desert. Three John, we're gonna be code four ten eight. Okay, we are clear. Is that deputy driving the ambulance? Maybe he's not. Okay, there's. I thought it, I thought the deputy was driving the ambulance for a second. I was like, what the hell? That's interesting. Okay, we are indeed code four, and tonight. There we go. And that was interesting. He nailed the back of that vehicle <laughs> really hard too. Oh my goodness, man. That's the thing about chasing motorcycles. It just happens that way, you know. It never fails. It never fails. Why do people, you know, just intentionally go slow out of here on Sonora Road? Like, they just... Like this guy right here in front of me. He's going 15 miles an hour, guys. 15 miles an hour. Oh, man. I should I should pull him over, huh? They look, like, really suspicious, too. Okay, 
We'll ignore them right now. We're going to ignore them. Really suspicious. Well, yeah, we're kind of watching traffic as well. I got some really cool episodes uh, coming up, guys. So just be prepared for that. So we should get some uh, some really cool cool ones coming up over the weekend and going into this next week. And also, I want to hear from you guys. How was your week at school? Because this is Friday. A lot of you guys uh, started back to school. And I uh, want to hear that. Units, we've got security details requiring assistance on Joshua Road. Okay, security guards asking for assistance. John, uh, show me in route code two. Ten four, copy that. Okay, so let's look it up on our computer database here real fast. Units respond code two. Let's see what's going on. Call details. Okay, it says call to emergency services from a guard at truck stop. Uh, Joshua Road states that an individual was caught on private property without the right of entry. Uh, we're going to be responding code two. And the person is, uh, what does it say? Craig, Craig Boy or Matt Strong? That's the, uh, maybe the person calling. I don't see anything else as far as what's going on. So it's basically somebody on private property and they're refusing entry is what it's saying. So let's turn back around. And we're going code two, no lights, no sirens. Okay, so it's going to be right up here to the right. This is going to be a truck stop right here. And uh, let's see, how do I get back over there? Can I just turn in here? Okay, maybe I should have went the other way. That's okay. We'll we'll see if I can go around this way. Can I can I go in here? Okay, we just did so. Yeah, I probably wasn't supposed to go this way. Nope, I wasn't. <laughs> I don't really go here very much. I'm sure you guys could tell. <laughs> All right, so are we just going to have to park out here? Yeah, I think I'm going to park right here. 3 John, uh, show me 1023. We're riding near Joshua Road to the truck stop. Roger, 3 John, 21. Okay, so this is private property. Uh, we got a guard over here, security guard. Uh, looks like we may have All a blackmail. Are at the scene. Blackmail out here. What is he arguing with him or something? Okay, here's the security guard. I should have came in that direction there. How are you? Hello, sir. Deputy Blenzo, Benzo Blank County Sheriff. He says, this suspect used to be an employee here. All right. Uh, they, the guard says uh, they are falsely claiming to have a right to be here on site today. So in other words, he got fired basically or something. It says uh, they do not. I, I need you to assist me uh, with removing them from the area. All right. It says thanks. All right, we'll do. Let me go talk to this guy. I thought he was black male. He looks to be maybe Middle Eastern. All right, let's talk to this guy. It says officer, this is uh, being blown way out of proportion. They are making up some BS story about me having an, an undisclosed prior conviction. <laughs> okay. I'll come back later when my employer, uh, employment lawyer has uh, has called them. What do you do? Just run off? Where did he? Where's he going? Now that's strange. That is very strange. I wanted to do like a pet check on this guy. Let's hope he's not going to go grab a weapon or something. All right, let's talk to the guard one more time. But it sounds like to me, they may have found like some criminal record or something on this guy and then they ended up firing him. All right, so, sir, can I get your ID just for our records, please? I appreciate that. Okay, thank you. Oh, this is him here, Craig Boy. And I'm wondering, 
Can I look it up through through here? I'm just curious before I call code four, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I don't have any any pets here? Oh that sucks. I was kinda hoping that I would have that there. Oh, you know what? I wonder if I could look them up a different way. Let's look up the call details. I think it was, it was a Matt Strong or something like that. Yeah, Matt Strong. Let's look him up real fast, guys, because it's just kind of weird. Let's see if we can look him up. Matt Strong. There he is. Okay. Sorry for the, the uh, glitching a little bit. Sometimes that happens with Computer Plus. Uh, license valid. Has nothing going against him. All right, let's run a pet check on this guy too. A little hard to spell, so we'll just do a pet check here. Requesting pet check. It's gonna be on a Craig Boy nine twelve seventy. Oh my goodness, sir! Oh how the tables have turned, sir! Uh, your license is suspended, and guess what? You also have a warrant for your arrest. Attention all units. We are code four. We are we are code four. Three John, we're gonna be code four, but go ahead and roll me additional, please. Attention all units. Officer needs immediate assistance and harmony. Okay. Required and we'll do it this way. I want to get another one here because uh, he has a warrant for his arrest. I like to have just a little bit of extra backup. Plus, he has a gun on him. Uh, uh stop, stop, stop. Hey, sir. Stop. Stop. Be stupid. I want to kill you. Get down on your knees. Get all the way down. You have a warrant for your arrest. You heard what I said. Stay right there. Uh, three, John. We have suspect at gunpoint. Go ahead and step up. Additional. Roger that. Stay right there. Don't you reach for your gun either. You understand? Hey, Carl. Come over here, man. He's got a warrant for his arrest. Okay, I've got, I got his gun. You can see right there. His gun's mine. Alright, man. Pat him down. Make sure he doesn't have any other weapons or anything on him. Sometimes they'll carry a weapon on his boots. But yeah, it's kind of funny. The security guard actually had, ended up having um, all kinds of stuff, including a used needle, a pencil, a special toy. <laughs> I can't believe you had a pencil, sir. <laughs> the whole thing. The only thing I'm worried about is this pencil. You're good to go. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're good to go too. You can go ahead and leave, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> I love doing calls like this and having things turn around. So the other guy gets to leave the premises, and this guy gets to go to jail. You know what? I wonder if I can stick him in the back of this this seat here. Hey, Carl, I'm gonna stick you in the back of your seat, man. You mind doing some paperwork for me? All right, he's gonna get in there. Thanks, Carl. Appreciate it, man. Oh, Carl's got more work to do. He just wrecked his crown, Vic. <laughs> Three John, we're gonna be code four and ten eight from uh, the the truck station off of US Route One at Joshua Street. Ten four. Oops! What the hell did I just hit? What was that? It's like an invisible barrier or something. All right. Yep, that's funny. I don't get a chance to arrest uh, security guards very often, <laughs> but when I do, I always drink Dosiki. <laughs> uh, that's too funny, bud. Alright, let's see what else we can get into. 
Yeah, this fecal pack here is by Tactical Donut. Yeah, it's a whole huge pack. I really enjoy it. Attention all Sandy Shore units. Hey. Officers report a stolen vehicle on Joshua Road. Stolen vehicle spotted. Three John, I'll respond code two. It's gonna be on an orange massacre six two Charles G John, John Union one zero seven. Oh, they want to respond code three. Okay. Really? Code three? Okay. Alright, fine. Oh, there it is, right there. There he goes. What are you doing? Three John, we got that orange massacre spotted. We're gonna be right out here on West Joshua Road. Oh, they want me to get behind them. Hell to the nah, man. Requesting pursuit back up. Assistance required on Joshua Road. Uh, I can take that. Are you going to generate a file on this? Disregard that. I got the details on my screen. Got a carbine rifle pointed at your head. PD, I will kill you. Get out of there. Get out of there. Stupid woman. Fucker. She's looking straight at me. I want to get an extra unit here, but you know what? Screw this. Get out of there, man. Hey, get the get hell out of there. Oh Stupid woman. I'm gonna you up. Stop right there. Ahead, make me use it. Stop right there. Get on your knees. Heard burgers. Who told you that? Eat shit. Okay. Three John, we got one detained. Ten fifty times one. Ten four, copy that. Three John twenty one. The boys are gonna love you. Yeah, the boys are gonna love you downtown. Just go to the right. Roads mean nothing. I'll be quiet, old man. Look at that vehicle she stole. Damn. All right, let's get a, uh, let's go and get a female out here. Get a female, they can pat her down. Joshua Stay right there, okay? Kneel down. Okay, let's kind of go through this vehicle real fast. Just gonna search this one little area over here. Okay. They're going to come over here, the females, and then uh, we're going to have them patted down. Requesting tow truck. Hey. Go ahead. I'll tow cover you. Hey, unit. Deputy Karen. Joshua Road. All right, get up, please. You're going to be going with Deputy Karen. Yes, yes, you are. <laughs> She's all, like, scared now. Right, they're going to be patting her down. That Masacro is going to be going with that uh, tour truck. It's really nice. Alright, this lady had PCP and a grenade on her. Are you serious? Requesting transport. Backup required on Joshua Road. Okay, that's just crazy. Alright, so she's going. I thought that was going to end up being a high speed chase. I'm sure it would have. But for some reason, she just knew she couldn't get away from Benzo. I'm just saying. Hey, John, we're going to be code for it tonight. Let's make sure that we do have our radio on. We're all good. Oh, they're still putting her in there. Okay, we're going to head down this way. We're going to probably... Kind of drive through Stab City real fast. Let's see if we can uh, locate some thugs out here. <laughs> All right, so yeah, let's just kind of go right through here. I should do a Stab City shakedown one day, right? Because I do a lot of gang member shakedowns, so why not a Stab City shakedown? Yeah, why not, right? Dispatch to all 
SWAT unit. We have a possible 148 and Grande Sonora Desert units respond code 3. They got an escape prisoner. Okay. Uh, 3 John, uh, go on code 3. 10 4, copy that. 3 John 21. All right, let's go. Code three. Whoa. So we got an escaped prisoner. I wonder if he's driving something or... Whoa. Got you. Well, let's see how far away this is. It's a pretty good distance. Oh, you know what? He just escaped from prison. That's what he did. Okay, he just escaped. So we should be able to get there. I wonder if it's going to be on foot. Escape prisoner. This is a new call out from Super Callouts. Okay, we'll be we making it right up here. Off of Joshua here. And a Panorama Drive. Southbound Panorama Drive. There's going to be rock coming off that prison system. That prison right off of uh, the main highway up here. This was his last known direction of travel. He was going northbound. Okay, I do see a prison bus up there. Is he going to be inside the prison bus? There he is. Oh, right there. Oh, he's got other prisoners with him. Oh, he's got prisoners with him. Requesting pursuit back up. Ah, uh, he's going. Assistance needed. And he's going. Oh, we got a bunch of them. Look at these guys. Holy crap. Dispatch, we got eyes on the Let's go with this guy. Oh my gosh. Requesting pursuit back up. I need a lot more, man. Grande Sonora Desert. Dispatch, suspect located. Moving to engage. Requesting air unit. Stop, man. I'll tackle you. Oh, goodness. Get down right there. Stop. Stop. Get down on your knees. All the way down on your knees. We've got like four escaped convicts driving that bus. That is crazy. It's a pretty awesome call, though. Perfect opportunity for a Benzo timestamp. Guys, look at your video time. Go down and post that video time, guys, and do a hashtag a Benzo effect. Uh, three John, we got a hashtag Benzo effect timestamp. Thank you. Roger. So, uh, Benzo rolls like that. You know what I'm saying? You're under arrest. You're under arrest, scumbag. <laughs> Get up here, man. All right, so I'm hoping. We got an air unit up there. We've got all kinds of stuff. Requesting pursuit backup. Roger. Here, let's get uh, let's go ahead and get SWAT team out here too. And state. Required on Route 68. Okay, we got state and SWAT Dispatch, coming in. We got eyes. We're in pursuit. And let's go ahead and get uh, FBI as well. Okay, let's get FBI task force out here too. Okay, let's get him moving down here a little faster. Okay, we have two two people right here. There's one of them right there, and he's already got his handcuffs on as well. Oh, we got one coming. Stay right there. He's way down there. Right there. Yes, right there. I see him right there. He's going to uh, US Brown uh, Route 68, right next to the prison, guys. Right next to the prison. Can't leave these guys here, unfortunately. 
Okay, there's F FIB. Hey guys, can you watch? The, can you watch some man? Stay right there, man. Stay right there. Okay, he's gonna watch them. We got the FBI here. There goes the SWAT. Oh no, he's still a vehicle. Hey, open the gate, man. Oh, he's he's gone. Okay, we can't let I let him escape. He just stole a vehicle. I got a air unit above him. Hey, pull over, man. Okay, I'm not gonna let him get away. If I have to, I'll bust the cap right in his tires, man. He's an escaped convict, man. Get out of there, man. Stop. Stop. Stop right there. Get on your knees, man. You're about to get shot. Get on your knees. Stay right there. Make sure I got my Glock out. It looks better. Good John, we got one suspect at gunpoint. It's going to be an escaped prisoner. For one out of four. 10 4, copy that. 3 John 21. The boys are going to love you. The boys are going to love you. Okay, so we have suspects outstanding two, so I don't, they must have got away, which sucked. I apprehend one. Alright, you come with me, man. Yeah, I, tell you what, I don't know, did I search him? I don't think I searched him yet. Just want to pat him down before I put him in the back of my vehicle. So where's your other buddies at? They're not your buddies, huh? And use needles? Come on, man. Alright, get in the back. Okay, we'll handle this car later. We're gonna drop him off back at the prison. Can't believe the other SWAT officers and everybody else could not have caught those other guys, man. They're useless. I caught at least, uh, at least one. Well, two, technically. Then I had the other F, you know, FBI guy watching him. All right, let's get him just kind of dropped off in here. Get him back into into the jail system here. And we'll just kind of drop him off. Let this other guy come and get him. Okay, the deputy's gonna get him right there. And then, uh, oh man, did they already did the bus already disappear? Sometimes they don't raise that up good enough. <laughs> oh, no, they're still out of here. All right. Well, good. So technically, I had uh, arrested more. Get over here, man. Did you even get searched? I don't know if you even got searched. I'm going to start pat you down. They're just standing out here. Not even an FBI agent out here. Burnt meth pipe. Come on, man. Alright, you're gonna get in the back here, and then your buddy's gonna get next to you. And then we're gonna drop you off to. to all Sandy Shore units. We've got a possible domestic disturbance and Sandy Shores. Right, so what's going on with you two, man? We pipe this guy down as well. He's another member. Oh my gosh, he's got a small baggie of cocaine, a handgun, a baggie of meth. He must have been the ringleader, huh? <laughs> Let's get him back in here. Can I not, um... Can I not put him in the back here? I thought I could put him on this side. Maybe not. Okay, let's see what I could do here. We're gonna have to call in transport. Okay, one sec. Okay, I managed to get both of them in the back, right there. So that's nice. All right, so let's get them back down into prison. 
That's a pretty call out. I like that. Pretty good one. I like how they just all kind of got out and started running. And there's not just one or something like that. Like the old call outs. But there's like four of them in there. Four or five. That's pretty cool. But yeah, we'll pop over here. And then uh, we, we will get them kind of dropped off. Let's see here. Yeah, we'll just pass them out to two deputies at the same time. Deputy Karen again. Back into prison you go. All right. All right, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of the Prison Break. You guys are awesome. I really do appreciate you sticking around that late in the video. Really do appreciate that. Uh, thank you to the patrons and the members of the Benzo Effect channel. You guys are super superb for the support. Greatly appreciate that. We'll see you on tomorrow's episode. Stay safe. Boy three, shots fired. Shots fired. Three boy three, shots fired. Three John. Three John. We need fire here. Shots fired.